they found me a new one in Springdale. So living off-grid, I kind of needed a generator right away, especially with my off-grid business for, I you know, do a lot of washing sheets and stuff. And even though I'm working on solar, I still need my generator uh, for certain things, especially my washer and dryer. So I didn't have much of a choice to go and buy a new one today. So I decided to get up extra early and make a little adventure out of it. So I took Mika with me and we are headed to Springdale and we are going to find something to do early this morning before the store opens. And uh, so just tag along and see where we end up. So we are here at Indian Falls Walking Trail in Springdale. Looks like a beautiful spot. Mika is raring to go. So this is the start of the trail that we are heading on today. Looks like it's all boardwalk first. Nice to walk on. It's a uh, beautiful morning here, but it, it is chilly. It's uh, after a heat wave the last a week or so, we. It's gone down to about 14 degrees today, so I have a sweater and a jacket on. Um, one thing when hiking, of course, two of the main things that you should have is good footwear, nice hikers for all conditions so you won't hurt your ankles, and as well as lots of water. So I have both today. I have my backpack on, and uh, my backpack has a little strap that carries water, and uh, and of course I have my hikers on, so we're ready to go today and hopefully it turns out to be a good one. Couple of fellows trying for a fish by the look of it. The trail travels right along the river. It's really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead. So we had to make a little detour because uh, there was a fence across the path. So I met up with these two people who uh, showed me how to get back on the trail and we're just heading down all these stairs now and going to the falls. From uh, Riverwood Drive. Yep. There's 74 steps. Okay. Top to bottom. Yep. And at the end up here, going up 67 down the other side is 69. So there's 120 plus right at the end of the trail. You got them counted up pretty good.
Heading down the stairs, 69, all the way down. <laughs> I hope I can it right here, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> huh. So we are at the last of the trail, which takes you right up to the falls, where they have a uh, salmon ladder by the look of it. And, uh, Wow, this is beautiful. Good, good baby. This is Indian River Falls. Beautiful spot. A few people out there salmon fishing today. Just here at the falls, having a little snack now before I head back. And um, the trail is about 10 kilometers long. It follows the river all the way up through, right to the Indian River Falls. There is a salmon ladder here as well. A bunch of fellows there fishing. And me and Mika are going to get ready and head back to the truck. And I'm going to go pick up that generator and get something to eat and head back home. I've seen this on several trees on this path. I'm guessing it's some kind of nest or cocoons or whatever for something. How neat looking. Look at all these little guys on it. Well, that was a good hike. We uh, just got back to the truck. And it's quite warm now. Start shedding a few layers. And uh, go pick up the generator and head back home. So I had a quick stop here at Spring Meadows Farm. This place is absolutely gorgeous. The landscape and they have everything done. It is right to a T. I stopped in to get some chicken feed on my way. They also have their market and a greenhouse. I'm gonna take you inside now and show you what a beautiful spot think I might get some uh, some meat when I leave we have all kinds of local stuff here 
It is absolutely awesome. Look at the sauces. The Newfoundland Saucy Company. Bees. And all their meat. Man, what a spot. Well, here she is, and I got her home, and finally in the shed, and uh, it's a 3,000 watt Yamaha with the inverter. She also has a um, key to start, which makes things so much easier. It's the same one I had before, actually, exactly the same, only um, a new one, and it runs my cabin very well, even though I'm working on solar. Uh, I still need a generator to run certain things. So I never had much choice to buy this one today, but it's, uh, it's a beauty. Now we're going to plug it in and see how she works. Well, I'm home after an eventful long day. I got up early this morning. I had to travel to Springdale to pick up a new generator. So I figured I'd take it all in and do go on an adventure while I was there. So me and Mika hiked the Indian River Falls Trail. Um, I stopped on my way back, picked up the generator. Then I stopped into Spring Meadow Farms and I had to pick up some chicken feed. While I was there, I also picked up some uh, local products they sell everything there in beef and pork and and all kinds of spices and sauces from the newfoundland saucy company and everything is local it's absolutely amazing i love it when people support local so i picked up a nice roast for this evening and i think i'm going to cook that for supper and try some of my spices that i picked up from saucy newfoundland i'm excited to try that and then i got back here i had to do kayaking tours all afternoon and I have guests in my three tents. It's been a crazy busy day. So my generator is working. I got it on and I'm going to go inside now and hopefully cook my supper and enjoy the rest of my evening. And until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, and tune in next time for Adventures Off Grid.